everybody. I'm Kate Conroy. And I'm Vanessa Vitello. And this is Other People's Business, which is the podcast from the New Jersey Business and Industry Association, the largest statewide business association in the galaxy. Yeah. <laughs> that joke never gets old. <laughs> we should get like t-shirts printed up or yes. buttons. Oh, we'll we'll yes. put like on the t-shirt, the largest statewide business association in the galaxy. And then on the back, we'll have like OPB. Love with it. the subscription. Enough. Hashtag OPP. Yes. Like, Love uh, it. I, I don't know if you're allowed to merchandise your podcast <laughs> like after like five or, well, no, we've been around for a while. Yes. Now. So yeah, like I think we're ready. I, I think, think we're ready for merch. Hell yeah. Okay, so anyway. <laughs> <laughs> With us today is Lisa Criscolo from NJB Magazine. So Lisa, say hi. Tell us a little about yourself. Um, again, I'm Lisa Criscolo. I am the advertising manager for New Jersey Business Magazine. Um, it's the state's largest uh, statewide business publication. We um, have been around. We're in our 63rd year, um, and we have about over 26,000 subscribers. Um, and we report on business news throughout the state and any industry you could possibly think of, healthcare, law, CPAs, uh, logistics, um, anything that you can probably think of we, we write about. Um, so I'm here to help with anyone that needs to get their message out to the entire state of New Jersey. Um, not just print the print magazine, but we also have tons of online um, digital opportunities as well to get your message out and reach um, you know New Jersey um, and all the members of the NJBIA as well. So. Um, happy to be here. Awesome. Very cool. So we were talking before, and you actually share some interesting uh, likes with one of our previous guests, Laura Link from Archer Law. She is super into reptiles, whereas you are super into bugs. I was going to ask, do you have an ocelot too? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah. <laughs> and in a previous episode, Vinny and I actually had a big fight about spiders. Yeah. So today's ice Spiders are awful. <laughs> <laughs> They're not, though. They're awful. They're friends. objectively <laughs> awful. <laughs> Hashtag disagree. No. <laughs> <laughs> so today's icebreaker is, is even more... Uh, esoteric than usual. Do you have a favorite bug? And I will okay. make you go first if no. you don't have an answer. No, so I I don't think I have a favorite bug. I mean, I, I'm, I, have a favorite listen, bug. <laughs> well, I'm fascinated by bugs. I think that they're interesting and, and like, you know, just the way they look and everything about them, but I, I don't think they're my favorite. You don't think that the way they look is kind of terrifying? Because I no, like spiders, no. but they're scary looking. Yeah, I just I, think we should like, no. I, I'm, I'm not opposed to the fact that they exist. But I think they should all just get rounded up, put in Antarctica. And <laughs> no, no, I am like fascinated by seeing them. Like recently, we saw a, um, I guess, a praying mantis, and I was like, I don't see them that often. But I was, they're kind of scary looking, but it's fascinating to me. I don't know why. They just, just the way they look. I don't know. I don't know. Something. I don't want them in my house. I don't want them in my house. Nobody wants any. No, of these I don't want them in my house. But <laughs> I, when I do see them outside, I will stop and and take a look. So you don't have a favorite bug. I don't think I no. I don't think I have a favorite bug. I mean, ladybugs I can handle. Like, I was gonna say ladybugs too, because so I read somewhere that they're carnivorous, like spiders, so they eat other bugs. Oh yeah, they which do. is good. Plus yeah. they're ladies. They're so pretty. I don't right. mind a ladybug. <laughs> I don't mind a ladybug. Butterflies I don't mind either. I actually just oh, I like grew and hatched butterflies over the summer, That's which awesome. is pretty amazing to watch. But. So, oh, yeah. Okay, what about this? What about a least favorite bug? Because I totally have one of those, too. I, I could talk about that I, for the rest of the day. <laughs> Spiders are definitely my least favorite bug. But really? I still, yeah, if I see them, uh, I don't like to get too close because some of them jump. But I, I yes, think yeah, they, spider do, they jump. Yeah. yeah. So... Yeah. All right, so I lived in the South for a while, and their cockroaches are like three inches long, and they have wings. They're they just, fly. They're well, just yeah. seriously crazy, horrifying, ridiculous. That's not a world I want to live in. But get this. So because they're so awful, they've decided in the South, I guess, to rebrand them, and they don't call them cockroaches. They call them palmetto bugs. Oh. And the first time somebody <laughs> told me that, I was like, that is crap. I'm sorry. You cannot... Just change the name from cockroach to palmetto bug. And yeah, then, like why rebrand? Like right. I understand that they could use rebranding, yeah. but why would we want to rebrand? Why would we want to help them rebrand? I don't. I don't yeah. know. Except that they're so they're prevalent. Off. Yeah, I don't. I don't get that at all. Mm. But I just remember thinking the first time somebody tried to convince me, yeah. or talk me into calling it a palmetto bug, I was like, that's not happening. Because cockroach is so ne negative. Yeah. Yes. So everyone's like, Definitely oh, let's, let's turn this around. Negative Make it positive. Yeah. Negative it's a palmetto bug, not a cockroach. We to take the time that we're like rebranding the cockroaches and use that to kill more to cockroaches. get rid of them yeah. brand killing the cockroaches that's yeah. what needs the pr seriously i totally agree what about you do you have a least favorite bug i have like 40 least favorite all of them there's, <laughs> there's the only good bug is a dead wow bug. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm sorry. How am I the only one on this panel of like two oh women and a guy who's like, no, bugs are not cute. <laughs> centipedes? Centipedes are freaking awful. Oh, wow. Awful. And okay. they can bite disgusting. you and they can kill you. Did you know well, that? Well, if you're small enough, yeah. Oh. Like babies. That That's I, only yeah. if you're small enough. I always thought that like you should They never... don't have enough venom to like drop a person, but like they could... <laughs> I really, didn't know this. They could really hurt your dog. Like they could oh really... Oh my God. Yeah. Really? Oh, yes. Yeah, 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 centipedes are that. awful. Yeah. I think they're disgusting. And silverfish. Have you guys ever seen a silverfish? Yes. They eat carpet. And Do so they? all of a sudden they're in your house and you try to kill them, but maybe you don't get them all. And all yeah. of a sudden you've got bald patches in your carpet. I didn't know that. It's crazy. Yeah. And here you are oh. like, oh, what's your favorite thing? <laughs> they're so cute. Yeah. All right, well, fine. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> they all have their bet their, their downfalls, but. All right, fine. All right. So, so Lisa, before you were telling us a little bit about um, NJ Business Magazine, tell us a little bit about what you do for them. Sure. So what I do is I am, like I said, the advertising director, and really what I do is try and sell advertising, print, and um, digital uh, for clients. But mainly what I do for people is I try to, you know, if they have a budget, I try to work with them to give them, you know, maximum exposure across all the platforms we offer, you know, the print, uh, the digital, the, um, you know, we have some different email options now, some email newsletter uh, web options and web banners. So I try to work with people and what they have available to get them the maximum exposure and get their message out there and, um, you know, and even help them with their messaging if they're not really sure, like, what what should, what should the ad say or what should it look like? And try and help with that also, like, the design aspect a little bit um, and with the team at the magazine, try and help people, you know, to get a good, a cohesive message out there across um, through the magazine. Cool. The website, yeah. That's awesome. All right. I think we're going to take a quick break. We'll awesome. be right back. All right. Okay, so we're back and we're going to play this game called Awful or Awesome. I'm going to name three things and you have to decide quickly if they're awful or awesome and then be prepared to defend your answers. Are you ready? Here we go. Texting. Awesome-ish. Awesome. -ish. Awesome. <laughs> awesome? Yeah. I love it, but yeah. um, I recognize that I, I hate it too. Like it's just... The, it's awful. It's awful? I think it's so, both. So yeah. my problem with texting is that I've reached a point where like... I am doing that instead of human interaction. Correct. Yeah. You know, like, right. I get borderline angry when people send me voicemails now. Oh, like, I never check it. voicemails. Yeah, like, because I've got to log in and I've got to check it. And, like, I don't mind. Like, sometimes there really are things yeah. that, you know, like, it's annoying to type out, like, all that. But if somebody leaves me a voicemail, it's like, hey, it's me, call me back. I am mad. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know? I, like, like, I yeah. agree. I that, delete. That's a text. Delete. It's a text. I delete voice messages so, so bad. If I yeah. see you called, I'll call you back. But right. I don't even listen to the message. Yeah, Plus, either. it's got me to a point where I get nervous about even calling my own friends. I'm like, they're just yeah. gonna want to text. You know, they're gonna be like, why are you calling me? Right. Yeah. <laughs> or, or like when someone that you don't really call all the time, I call you. Yeah. Like, oh, something's wrong. Exactly. Something's wrong. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Cooking shows. Awful. Love them. Awesome. Really? You hate well, them? You, and you love them? I do love them. Well, I love to cook, so like you know, watching a cooking show to me is—it's almost like it's relaxing. I don't know. I don't explain it, mm -hmm. and I get like good ideas from from mm -hmm. uh, watching them cook, and mostly it makes me hungry. So yeah. I end up eating something, but I don't love them. I, don't I them. love them too, uh, but I can't watch them at home, or else I snack. Oh, I, I snack eat. the whole time. <laughs> yeah, I do. So my favorite place to watch them. This is going to sound so counterintuitive and weird. Is when I'm at the gym on the treadmill running. Oh. I love watching. All right. Okay. So I used to love watching Paula Deen throw stick after oh. stick of butter into I the know, mixer right? with that, while yes. the sweat is pouring off yeah. my I, face. I just, and I'm we're gonna garnish that with some bacon, <laughs> maybe a little chocolate. Oh my yeah. god. Uh, yeah. Yes. The most fattening, like you know. Uh, I, I can't even think of like a thing you would cook, but whatever it was, it would be the most fattening version of that. Oh right. yeah, so, everything. You know, my favorite recipe that I ever got from a cooking show was chocolate caramel pecan layer cake, and what? I um, actually made it. And really. It was outstanding. Was, it was that her? Unbelievable. Yeah, it was Paula. Yeah. It was well, yeah. Unbelievable. That's the other thing about cooking shows that I like. Cause it's like. Uh, a lot of stuff that's like bad for you. Yeah. You know it's bad for you. Yeah. But I like watching them make Me it. I'm like, too. that would probably be so delicious. Absolutely. Never gonna make it. Absolutely. But, but I love to watch it. Vin, you said you hate them? I I, I can't stand the food network in general. Like <laughs> Tara's always got it on, oh. and it's always some stupid show. Like, uh, for example, one of the ones she really likes watching, 
they have challenges and oh, if you mess a lot up, of those. like yeah, like you have I to use those. like a spoon the side of your head to like <laughs> stir oh, something. Oh, really? Like, a no, I never pot. saw. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah not, like it cut through a kitchen. Cut through a kitchen. I, I hate that. Yeah, I hate okay. it. Like, you'll be like, all right, make grilled cheese sandwich, and then yeah. like one guy will not be allowed <laughs> to use cheese, and then like at the end of the round, they'll be like. What is this? This is awful. How terrible of a cook you are. Yeah. You made a grilled cheese sandwich yeah. without cheese. They're the mocking like, him. You wouldn't let, let me use cheese. cheese. It's so oh. stupid. Like, you uh, yeah. learn nothing from that. Yeah, you know? no. I, I agree. agree. And then they have that other one with that guy, Guy Fieri, I think his name is. Oh, like, I hate he that. He just goes around and Diners, just, like, dive and bars oh, yeah. and stuff and, like, it. takes these, like, hamburgers yeah. that are, like, two feet tall. Again, stuff, eating you know, food like, that you would never normally eat, but why did someone eat it? I think he's obnoxious anyway. I really hate his hair. I can't even help it. I just you're. I think you're a little jealous of the hair, actually. Not at all. Are you I, kidding? I think yeah. you can rock that, and I think you're just upset that like you don't want to try. <laughs> no, that's an accurate. No. All right, last one. New Year's resolutions. Hate them. Yeah, awful. Yeah, it's it's a stupid idea. I agree. Yeah, I agree. Wow, that elicited no conversation at all. It's well, too much pressure. Tell me why you hate them. Like, <laughs> I, too much I hate pressure. them because yeah, they're too much pressure, and they're it's it's a dumb idea. Like if you're gonna change your life, change your life. Yeah, don't wait yeah. until New Year's yeah. to change your life. Yeah. And most of the time it doesn't well, last, and it's just... Well, because, yeah, like... I don't know. I don't There's know. so much pressure to make your New Year's resolution right. about weight. When, oh, like, really, yeah. this was the first year that I made a New Year's resolution about, like, playing more video games. And you know what? I actually did. Oh. So, you know what? Like That's That is the bad. most interesting, because usually... Okay, I, I don't want to offend you. But no, go ahead. <laughs> usually people's New Year's resolutions revolve around, like, improving their life. Right. Yeah. And I always think of video games as, like, a waste of time. No. So mm -hmm. that couldn't be an improvement in your life <laughs> no, to waste more time. <laughs> yeah. No. Wow. Yeah. So your New Year's resolution was to play more video games. Yes. And you... And I succeeded. <laughs> so this was the first year in a long time. Oh, my God. I kept my New Year's resolution. It is going re strong. Well, I need to rethink my life. I, I know. And my resolution Start now. Start making your New Year's resolutions things you want to do, but, you know, like, you don't more, always have the time for it. More karaoke. More karaoke. Right. Exactly. Like, I am so down. And come December, when you've actually done more karaoke than last year, won't you feel great about your life? Yes. yes. Oh, I'm doing this this you year, too. You are freaking I think. genius. I know, right? <laughs> God! <laughs> Being misunderstood is the fate of all true geniuses. Yeah. That is a quote from Howard Stern. It's so uh -huh. true. Damn. Yeah. Okay, wow. You're blowing my mind. I need, to, I need a minute, but I'm just going to keep... I need a minute. You take it so, from here. So tell us how people can get more information on the magazine. Well, you can go on the website, which is njbmagazine.com. Um, and you can also call me. Uh, the number is 973-852-6225. Uh, but really, everything on the magazine is, is on the website, so feel free to explore. And I don't know if we said this before, but the magazine is actually an affiliate of NJBIA. Yes. So if you're a member of ours, you get it, right? Full disclosure, yes. We are an affiliated uh, organization, yes. and they do an amazing job. But for all of our podcast listeners that are not members, they can, how can they get the magazine? You can get a magazine. You have a, a subscription to the magazine. And again, you can go through the website to um, get your subscription. But um, if you become a member... One of your benefits of becoming a member is receiving um, the magazine, which, again, is the largest statewide business publication in New Jersey. So why wouldn't you want to read it? Exactly. All right. Awesome. So it is now time to wrap up the show, as we always do, where we have to name one thing that we're hoping for for the week. And uh, I actually have mine top of mind, so I'll go first if go you want. Uh, yeah. Unless either of you want no, to go first. Go ahead. Okay. Go for it. So I'm going shoe shopping this weekend, and I, uh, you know, shoe shopping in New Jersey, you can usually do some damage, right? Oh. <laughs> but yeah. there have been many times when I have left empty-handed and sad. You know, like I, I really am hoping that I can find something really cute. Wait, so like, why do you leave empty-handed? Well, because they don't have your size, or they're uh, not comfortable, or you don't find anything that you like. Mm -hmm. at all. I mean, that almost never happens. Always I can find something I like. Yeah. But every once in a while, you'll try them on, and they just pinch, or they're not, yeah. they don't fit right, or they don't have your size, and then you're mm -hmm. just like, oh, man. Wait, so like, I... All right, so I'm a guy, and I, this is really awful to say. I haven't been, like, I maybe go shoe shopping, like, twice a decade. So have we... Oh, shoes? my God, there's yeah, like, there twice a year. Yeah, I, don't I don't know. What? Like, what's the so order? <laughs> have we progressed to a point where you can't just buy shoes online? Oh, no, we totally can. can. But... The fun is like looking at a sea of shoes right. in front of you okay. and like walking down the aisles and looking and picturing yourself wearing those yeah. shoes oh, and yeah. then trying mm -hmm. them on and it's a whole experience. Mm. Yeah. It's like ordering it dessert. Is. Like okay. you walk up to the dessert case and you're like, look at all of the mm -hmm. options and you choose what you want, except with shoes you can choose more than one. Yeah. Okay. I Amazing. mean with dessert you can choose more than one too, but yeah. you mm -hmm. usually don't. Okay. I usually don't. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Lisa? Oh, so what am I... What What are you hoping for for the oh, week? I'm like, what am I hoping for? Oh, God. Keep my um, business more personal. Uh, what am I hoping for for the week? 
just well first of all in my house i have two little kids i have a healthy week uh no one being sick there you go. Uh, that's good usually this time of the year it's sick 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 every day uh, uh but just to have a, a quick week to get to the weekend because it's family time and relaxing time and um you know spending time with, with friends and family so that's a nice well, you know it's a nice hope yeah Healthy, happy family. Healthy, yeah. I like that. Actually, I have a similar one to hers. Like, I, I know that this time of year is generally when I get a cold. And when I get it, like, I almost never get sick. But when I do, it really, like, knocks me oh, out. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't want to get, like, a cold for, like, another three weeks. So yeah. that's my hope for this week. Yeah. That sounds wow. so lame. I'm going to tack on to that weeks. peace on earth and goodwill towards mankind. Yeah, right. Exactly. Yeah. Oh yes. <laughs> that is hilarious. So that's our show. I think that not? might be yeah. our show. Yes. So... Please subscribe on your network of choice, iTunes, Google Play, we're on the Amazon Echo, and YouTube. I mean, if you're not really into the whole concept of the uh, the podcast, you don't want to get a podcast app, you know, check us out on YouTube. You can go to the NJBIA YouTube page, and we have a, a playlist of the episodes that gets updated every week or every other week when we post. So check us out there. I mean, if you're listening to us now and you don't like podcasts, that's probably where you're listening to us from. So probably a moot point for me to even like promote that, but why not? I'm here and we're doing it. Exactly. Write to us at opb at njbia.org if you have any ideas for how we can do things better or if you have any icebreakers you'd like us to answer for you. Thanks to our early subscribers and listeners. We are so appreciative of the love and support. Oh, definitely. And thank you to Lisa Criscola for joining us today. Did yeah. you have fun? I did. I'm so thank glad. And if you we were to merch this show, would you buy a t-shirt? I would. Of course I would. Yes, awesome. we're merching it. We're yeah. doing it. <laughs> this is happening. I'm, yeah. I'm getting one. Hashtag merch. I have no idea how we're going to sell them, but I'm sure the, the good people at BIA will figure it out. It'll be fine. Yeah. It'll be fine. All right. Thanks, everybody. Bye. Thank Bye. Bye.